Joker. There's a lot to be said about this weapon. If you PK and above the 105 combat bracket actively, you will know a lot about this weapon. So today we're going to talk about the Void Waker and explore what the capabilities of this weapon, including the max possible hit. So, taken from osrs.wiki, so shout out, shout out osrs.wiki, guys. Here's a members only item that has been released and is not even two years old yet. January 25th, 2023. It is not a quest item. However, this item is actually a version of an item that has been already released. However, it has been slightly buffed and made a lot more powerful in this iteration called Old School RuneScape. <clears throat> Here is a members only item that has been released and is not even two years old yet. January 25th, 2023. It is not a quest item. However, this item is actually a version of an item that has been already released. However, it has been slightly buffed and made a lot more powerful in this iteration called Old School RuneScape. <clears throat> Talk a little bit about how the price has changed on the Void Waker throughout the years. I'm using the website g-tracker.com up here, but it started at around 544 mil, rapidly dropped the next few days to around 188 mil, back up to 200 mil on March 8th, then hitting a decline of 145 mil. Now I still bought and sold this a, r a bunch around then, and I ultimately lost money. However, <laughs> I did make a ton of money with this item back when it released, and and it has just been steady, steadily declining and is stabilized around 93 mil here, guys. So the past year or so, a little bit over a year, it's just been around just under. Uh, just about 95 to 85 mil so the tradable equipable but it is not stackable meaning it is not like a rune you, if you drop more than one in the same location it will not stack up it is notable and you are able to wield and drop it with the examined reading a truly fearsome weapon <laughs> it is not dropped by a single monster in the wilderness it is dropped by is a basically assembled by three separate pieces called the Void Waker Gem, the Void Waker Hilt, Void Waker Blade. All three pieces are dropped by boss wilderness monsters that we'll have to go into separate videos about, but just know they are called RTO. Boss monsters are RTO, Spindle, and Calvaryon. These are singles only boss monsters. However, it is characterized as singles plus. We'll have to go that to that in their own videos, though. So the Void Waker is fairly easy to assemble. All you have to do is acquire 500,000 coins and talk to Madame Sikaru. She can be found in the Ferox Enclave dungeon. I'm going to show you how to get to the Ferox Enclave. You can, get, you can get here with the dueling ring and then press 3 on your keyboard or just click the Ferox Enclave. Go north east here a little bit and you can find Madame Sakaru right here guys to get to your Void Waker for 500,000 coins so more about the Void Waker the predetermined like item value on death is 2 million coins we have a high alk of 1.2 million coins a low alk of 800,000 and a weight of 1.814 lowercase k lowercase g guys do not alk this if you if you really need the coins, I do not recommend this whatsoever, guys. This is a very valuable item. Got the Void Waker and its price changes. Currently, there's about 2,000 traded per day with a buy limit of 70, so this can be merchanted. And here's how it's changed throughout the years, being released 2023 January. Here's combat stats, giving plus 70 stab, 80 slash, so it's more useful to use in the slash, and negative two with the war hammer. Also, plus 5 in the magic attack, as the special attack is a magic attack, but also kind of a melee based kind of damage dealt calculated, as I'll explain further. Attack, strength, defense solely, or train them all together with a controlled option. It also has a range of 1 tile 
which means that you can only attack somebody within one square. You cannot attack somebody on the same square as them. Quaker is just as fast as a dragon scimitar, which is only about 100,000 coins, as well as just as strong as an abyssal whip, which is about 1 million, 2 million coins. So what makes this item one nearly 100 mil in this day of age? Well, let me explain right now. So, even before RuneScape, the meta has, for PvP has always been, and ever since Old School RuneScape has launched, the special attack to finish somebody off in Old School RuneScape is the fastest way to deal the most damage. So let's delve into what the Void Waker's special attack does because it is the most powerful thing about this sword. Okay, I'm going to quickly explain special attacks as well as special attacks on the Void Waker. There's 100% possible special attack you get. One Void Waker special attack uses 50% energy, so you get two Void Waker special attacks. And this is the sound it makes. So the special attack is called Disrupt, which consumes 50% of the special attack's energy. But what makes this so good is that it actually deals between 50 and 100% of the maximum hit and it is a guaranteed hit so you cannot hit zero with this special attack ever and you get two guaranteed special attacks if you have 100 percent energy so just as a general tip in order to hit the maximum possible hit with the void waker you should not be using a magic prayer such as augury use a melee prayer such as Payetti would be the best and a super comet potion so right now my max without the potions would be 54 however using augury it would only be 45 in order to get a successful deflect using prayers you would not be using against the special attack you would not be using protect from melee however during any any attack that's not the special attack definitely be using protect from melee as it can hit fairly hard but use protect from magic to get that 40 to 50 percent damage reduction <laughs> the only thing you have to be wary of is somebody following it up with a granite mall so you, you're gonna have to calculate a, 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 your HP so that you do not have that happen here guys now if you do protect a, 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 and go with the protect magic and they do actually hit you on prayer it is not the worst decision however just know that it's gonna be a, probably a large hit however you cannot get like comboed a 45 after with the granite mall if you have that protect melee up so just weigh your options interesting truth about the void waker here is that ever since the void waker has been released the meta has kind of been bringing triple e's when you bring a tribute setup or just bringing more triple e's in general because because of the high damage output of the fact that you can just combo it with something like a granite mall so ever since then me as well as other content creators have just been bringing the triple e however it's not not everybody has been some uh, just do not prefer bringing it and when they bring that tribrid setup so if you don't know how to triple e just watch my how to treat triple e uh, osrs video in osrs video on my fan of osrs shorts channel it's a very quick 30 second clip creation of the void waker it actually takes about two ticks to create it once you go to madam sikaru as well as you can potentially make profit up to two million according to the osrs wiki if you probably buy it at the right prices in the grand exchange and just know that you're paying 100 500k as well to assemble it so so a little bit more about an upgrade to the void waker which is recent with the release of dead Man armageddon you are able to purchase a Armageddon Weapon Scroll and get this cosmetic upgrade. So there's that. This was released just this month. A pretty uh, striking PvP use. It also has a bunch of PVM uses, including Ultimate uh, Iron Man for Lizard Man, as well as Perilous, Perilous Moons. But the special attack also has a ton of other uses. So being that it has two special attacks and ha can be used for both melee and magic, it has a ton of different uses, not including but not limited to the 
Adamant Dragons, General Grador, Giant Mole, Krill the Mimic, Bastani's Nightmare, Rune Dragons, Tomes of Mimascus, Tazer Fight Caves, Varvidus, Barrows, Nex, Dark Beast, Scotizo, Sacharis, as well as Slayer Tasks, Worms, Gargoyles, Scurious. Here are some quick renditions and proposals. These ones are by Mod Grub. As you can see, quite different. Option C looks kind of like the blade or the hilt, or option B does kind of as well. So, kind of just combined all the options there into the Void Waker. They have a different animation that was viewed as bland. So, they did go ahead and recently change it to and rename to something called Disrupt. A little bit of trivia here. They did propose it that you need 60 magic, but and, and as well as 75 strength. But that, that those requirements have been just thrown out to the water. I personally think that it was kind of uh, worth it, considering the fact that just uh, I don't think it's up to par with the 75 strength requirement. Like, uh, not many items even require strength in general. So. Okay, everyone, here's the fun part. I punched in the best possible strength bonus that we can get using the Void Waker. We have 99 strength, super strength, well, in the PvP scenario, by the way. We have Piety. Well, we can switch it to Xamarin Brew. We have the Void Waker coming in on Slash, the Amulet of Torture, the Torva set, the Verdict, Infernal Cape, Old Tor Ring, Ferocious Gloves, as well the, as the Primordial Boots. Guys, I think this max is going to come in around 78, maybe 79. Again, there's a new buff coming next week. That's actually going to buff this max possible strength bonus by 2. So, I think it's around 78, 79. 76. Yes, I think I think it's around 78, but yeah, 76 right here, guys. That is huge. Now, considering, I think this is a little off. I think it's 78, if not 76. I think they both. Uh, I think they actually nerfed it a little. Um, uh, with a max at a 51, with a regular hit, and then at any point you can just click that special attack bar. You can hit that 76. And it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? So th that has been the video. The Void Waker. Let me know if you guys like this kind of kind of stuff. It took me a little bit to make, and hey, there's a lot of information in it, especially if you're new at the game. And yeah, this is a very very prominent weapon. Currently, it's still in the meta, guys. That being said, 100 million gold. That that's so much gold extra to bring in a PV scenario if you're risking it <laughs> do not risk it if you don't want to lose it and uh, yeah shout out spine wielder on uh, OSR's wiki giving all the the image uh, stuff here guys so peace out I do reply to all comments eventually and I'll see you guys next one please consider a sub